RC Club. This is the central shelter from the parking lot. And we're going to take a little aerial view of everything here. This uh, central shelter was the original one and it's been up since the club has been at this site in Superior Township. And um, the runway runs east and west, so you are looking north. And as we go up over the shelter, you'll see there's a lot of really nice farmlands all around where we're flying here on this pretty large sized piece of property. Uh, what's nice about that is there's not many people to disturb with uh, any sounds that the larger planes or the loud jets might make. And that's a, that's a bonus for us. As we move up higher, looking towards the north of the farmland, if you look over to the east here, as the camera comes around, you can see the road that we drive in to get into the flying club. It comes off of Ridge Road, way over there in the distance, and curves around. And over here on the west, there's a lot more farmland, and uh, down at the bottom there is the helicopter area. The runway is 500 feet long by 40 feet wide. Taking off north of the central shelter, over the runway, you're looking south right now, and as we climb up, you'll get a good view of the uh, entire piece of property, which is oval shaped. And it's really uh, nicely done, well kept. Not much to crash your planes into unless you go to the outside edges where the trees are. The morning crew is starting to come in right now. Um, almost every day there's a number of number of flyers that come in and fly their planes in the morning between 10 and noon. It's a good portion of the club. We're up about 150 feet. And as we pan around here and take a look at the whole club, see what it looks like looking east, curving around to Ridge Road, Looking northeast over the big open flying area. There's northeast, uh, Cherry Hill City is there. There's the north, more farmland. And there's a fence that borders the top of the property. Looking west, again you see more farmland, Ford, Ford land. And coming back around to the southwest, uh, there's a community south of Gettys Road. The jewel of the Flying Pilgrims is this paved asphalt 500 foot by 40 foot wide runway. It accommodates most of the jets and larger planes. I should say all of the jets. Attracts a lot of people from uh, outside of our club who come to our special events. And then right next to it is a rolled and well cut manicured grass runway for those who don't want to land on the pavement. Again, look at east, north, west, and down the runway. Coming in from the southwest is the helicopter area with two helicopter pads. It's on the west end and south of the runway so that the helicopters out of the flight line of the planes. Uh, you can see the large copter pad there and to the lower right the smaller earlier one that we had. It's a flat area. Uh, looking over that one larger pad you can see there's a table there for the helicopter pilots and 
on this west end of the runway. They can fly here with uh, the copters that don't follow a pattern and uh, not interfere with each other as far as the planes and the helicopters are concerned. On another note, flying over here in the helicopter area gives you a great vantage point with a quadcopter like the one I'm using and a camera on it to catch uh, good videos of planes like John's smoker here going by. It's really nice to be able to catch the planes from this angle and then you're not entering uh, into their flight path with a, a stationary hovering craft. It's a good, good place to get pictures of planes flying from here. And then sometimes somebody else has a vertical takeoff plane, such as uh, Mike's uh, vertical takeoff uh, convergence here. So the meeting of the two uh, hovering craft, we didn't get too close, but it was interesting to uh, catch a video on the west end here of his plane hovering next to mine. And uh, you know, just one of those things we could do on this end of the runway without really getting into the uh, area of other planes. Although he is over the runway right there, but uh, that is also a plane. He does take off with that. The AMA ruling that says that we should be flying at under 400 feet, uh, and the F FAA also says the same thing, uh, brings some my mind the question of just how high is 400 feet. <coughs> so I took the copter up to 400 feet here. It limits at that height, it won't go any higher anyhow, to give you an idea how it looks like. And it's it's really pretty high up. I, after getting up this high, it was pretty safe uh, to assume that most of the flyers who fly here never really even come into this airspace. It's just really high up. Uh, down from the ground where I am looking up at my copter, I can barely see uh, this is zero quadcopter taking these videos. So while we're up here, it's probably a good idea to look at the whole horizon and pan all the way around the area here from 400 feet up. So here goes. Looking south and looking east. And looking north, the farmlands. Back around to the west. And then there's a community on the south side of Gettys Road. More farmland behind us. Anyhow, now you know what our, our club looks like. And the last thing that we put in the club, we're approaching right now as we head off into the west flying away into the sunset is uh, our new east end shelter, a metal shelter that we put up on the east end just to give us more capacity for flyers to take off from. There are four taxiways coming off the main runway. And this east end shelter, as you can see by this plane sitting here, is where the big boys fly. A lot of the big planes come off from here. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed it. This is Flying Pilgrims RC Club. Thanks for watching.